What's up guys, GSMSE here and welcome to a new hybrid squad build on FIFA 14. As you can tell by the title, we've been going with the new inform Isco and Pedro. And guys, if we smash 1000 likes by 6pm, I'll do a triple upload today. As uh, I haven't been doing upload as much as I wanted to recently, uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But we're going to start off with the defence. I'm, I'm doing this squad build slightly different to the usual. And um, I'm basically going to go through the defence first, giving you a little bit of an insight to it. Then the midfield, the attack, and then go on to some clips. Uh, so Hugo Lloris is our goalkeeper and we have applied these shield. Uh, what's it called chemistry style to him and that basically improves uh, some stuff that uh, is in game stats I don't actually know how they work too much yet they do make a little bit of a difference and Mangala is our first centre back with 77 pace 87 heading and 82 defending he cost me 3400 coins and this guy is very very strong at the back and uh, 6 foot 2 his work rates are now slightly strange uh, compared to what they were before uh, they are now high high instead of the uh, medium high but Kabul he is a very good uh, defender to partner Mangala and again another quick player 78 pace on him I've got the sentinel uh, chemistry style on him which improves his uh, defending and heading got him uh, for quite cheap as well and he's uh, 6 I don't know how tall he is there but I believe he's 6 foot odd um, the right back is going to be Asper Equator of Chelsea and he's pretty much there for chemistry reasons but hybrids this year are a lot harder to do. Um, I mentioned this in the previous video, but it's because they've changed the nation links, how much you get out of them. Uh, it's not 1.5 uh, chemistry points now, it's just the single one. And players now start on a default three chemistry, which is uh, quite strange. But Alexandra is going to be our left back. Here's the Porto left back. And he's very, very solid. 1,700 coins. Um, prices, I thought they'd go up, but they've actually gone a lot like a lot lower. Uh, so if you do get these players, I believe they'd be a lot cheaper than they are than I bought them for. Um, because I'm, I did make a loss on some of these players when I sold them, but nevertheless, Still a pretty good team to use. In our midfield though, our first player is going to be Ramirez. This guy is nowhere near as good as he was last year. He was actually probably the biggest disappointment in the team. Uh, he's got a lot of pace, but he, his, his strength was shocking. And uh, he kept getting knocked off the ball, which is pretty damn annoying. And uh, to be fair, I did prefer this guy, which is Chabby Alonso. He is 85 rated and uh, last year he was pretty pretty shit. But um, this year his passing actually makes a difference. If a player has good passing stats, they tend to be very, very good on the game this year. And uh, he's got a little bit of strength about him, I think. Um, but he didn't feel weak at all. But he's going to link up with the inform Isco. And uh, this is one of the main guys of the team. And he was a bit of a disappointment. Six games, one goal, four assists. That's not the uh, return that I thought he'd be giving me. Um, obviously, I, I put the engine trait on him, or engine chemistry style, improving his uh, pace, passing, and dribbling. It's quite a cool chemistry style, but again, it didn't really make too much of a difference on uh, uh, Isco. On to our attack then, our front three, and this attack was very, very fun to use. Our left winger, though, is going to be Chelsea's uh, signing, which is William. This guy's finesses are ridiculous. Um, you may have seen people doing like ridiculous finesse shots like 35 yards plus. You'll see that in this uh, in the goals at the end. And this guy has got an incredible finesse shot. They are toning it down within the next few weeks, I believe. But still, if you get his um, on his right foot, uh, do that finesse and that will definitely go into the corner. Our striker is going to be, we had one or two options. One of them was going to be Neymar, but it is a bit too expensive for my liking. And seeing as prices were dropping, I thought that'd be quite risky. We've gone with uh, Diego Costa. This guy is six foot two with high, high work rates, but he is a machine. He has got very good strength. And um, for a six foot two guy, he has got 83 pace, or 82 pace, sorry. 83 rated though. And in the uh, in the air, this guy is actually quality because of his heading and his uh, strength. And our right wing is going to be the new informed Pedro. Again, this is another guy that disappointed me quite a bit. Um, I did borrow him off a good friend. And he's got a high tackle work rate, low defensive. So it's a much better work rate than last year. But he only got two goals and one assist in six games. Um, and for me, that is not a good enough return for uh, an informed player. He's around 80,000 coins. So it's quite an expensive squad. We're going to go on to the clips now. And uh, while it's in the clips, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you why I haven't been uploaded as much. And the main reason, number one reason, is going to be the YouTube sub boxes. Uh, if you don't know what that is... Basically, if you're subscribed to me, uh, if you're not already subscribed, I'd recommend doing it. <laughs> but um, Based on whenever I upload, it'll come up saying GCL Messi's uploaded a video. You can click on it, but the sub boxes weren't updated for about two to three days. And uh, they're still not 100%, so it's quite annoying. But I'm going to have to fight for it. And uh, I, I was planning to do two videos a day minimum uh, every single day for pretty much FIFA 14. But obviously I had to take a little bit of a step down from that. But it should be all back to good now. Um, like I said, 1,000 likes guys before 6pm. And I'll do a triple upload today. And uh, that is a really, really well worked goal there from Diego Costa. A great ball in by Isco. That was one of his key points for me. And uh, Ramirez gets down the wing here. And Diego Costa, he manages to get in that box. And it's a very good header into the far post there. Really, really nice, uh, nice tidy header from Diego Costa. And that is one of his key points when you play with him. Um, this guy is outstanding. And uh, this is the finesse shot that I was uh, previously talking about. Cut inside with William. And yeah, think for yourself what that's about. It's, it's the 90th minute. Yes, it's probably a bit of bullshit. But 
that that shouldn't be going in. Um, that's that's some FIFA 12 shit right there. But they are uh, fixing it in the near future. Uh, so that's one thing to look forward to. And guys, leave a comment below if you've already got FIFA 14. Who is your best player you've got in a pack so far? I forgot to ask that at the beginning. And uh, apologies if I sound quite strange. Um, I've actually got a uh, what's that? I can't remember thinking. Well, I'm, I'm not well. That's pretty much the reason. Uh, I'm not very well at the moment. And um, I basically come out in like. I feel like shit, and it's not very good. <laughs> but that's one of another another reason why I haven't been uploading as much as I would like to be. Uh, but basically, the overall opinion on this team is that uh, it is very very good to play with. But you could probably get better for the price. Like this year, the more expensive players do work out better, and the uh, the higher rated players, sorry, uh, seem to perform a lot better than they they used to, which is a really good sign. Uh, but Pedro and Isco weren't one of them that I really enjoyed playing. Um, the formation itself, the four three three. I don't know what variant this is, but I didn't really get along with it too well. It wasn't my favourite formation, so I prefer having CDMs, and unfortunately this formation did not uh, have that. So uh, it's one of the letdowns of it, but if you, a lot of people uh, prefer different formations, and you may may well like this squad. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, rate, and subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content. And uh, the triple upload will contain this one, a pack open, and a magic mode. So get a like if you want to see that, and I will see you guys next time.